You know what I'm saying? No, I got you, man. All right, so now we we had, we had hard luck up here. You know, hard luck always got a platform to come up here and uh, get shit off his chest. And I mean, first time we had Hardy up here, she got crazy. It was a lot of uh, things that he wanted to, uh, you know, make the people aware of. All right, so fast forward. Yeah. We about uh, you know, eight nine months later, whatever. Um, then I see you know you, you uh, you know you got involved with a with a lot that was going on in terms of the issues in in, in the streets out there in Patterson. Um. First and foremost, man, I just want to know, like, I know you've seen a lot that was going on. You know, you've seen the P. Dyke situation with RGF. You've seen the hard luck situation with RGF. When when did you decide to say, you know what, I need to say something about this shit? Oh, uh, well, you know, man, like, it, it take a lot for me to piss me off. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Like, I'm mad humble. Like, even like what you said with hard luck with P. Dice, mm-hmm. I try to squash all that shit before when I, was, you know I mean, had them guys hanging around me. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, um, you know. Two years go past, whatever, whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. But now we made the song Guide Him. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the guy, Nicky the Grit, we call him, that's Nick the Grit. Right. We call him right. Nicky. Right. You know what I'm saying? He figured, though, he got a couple of hours, he, could, he ain't got to hang in the hood. He respond back to something I said. So mm-hmm. that's what ticked me off. You know what I'm saying? All right. So you, you just, even for you, it was just enough was enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If that did mind their business, I wouldn't even probably be here right now in the room. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But since you want to talk and stuff like that, now every time I see you, you got to get Timberland up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Timberland up. All right. Man. Now, now from what from what a lot of people were told publicly, you know, Patterson was basically RGF's town. Hell nah, 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 nah. That's, nah. That's what we were told. That's that not a fact. RGF's you know I mean? not even a Hold street. on, hold on. Let's just get this straight real quick. Pay, like you said, I was here nine months before. Right. Before Wardy even started going in all crazy. Right. So that just proved to you, like, these niggas had a situation like mm-hmm. they couldn't handle. Like, you heard? Right. right. Real niggas got involved. Like, it ain't, it, he ain't get involved with my issues. He right. got his own issues. Right. You feel me? So it's just, it just goes to show you, like, niggas was fool from the jump, my nigga. I got you. So, I mean, Fuzz, what exactly were your issues then? Oh, my issue just was Just not like, showing love back to the town? Oh, nah, it wasn't even that. All the stuff that they did to us, like, I swept that shit under the rug because, like, mm-hmm. I know... I'm great, like, you know what I mean? Like, like our situation with these guys, like like I said, they like money, power, respect, going against money. Mm-hmm. So if they run out of money, well, they ain't got nothing else, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So my thing with these guys is, what I said with, with Nick the Grit, the guy, I disrespect him a year ago, but he called, we straightened it out, whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. And I'm thinking he's going to do the right thing. He still didn't do the right thing, but that still wasn't my problem. It's still... Right. But not, but now I disrespect him again. Now he he talking back like, right. nigga, I got I got a couple of dollars I could do with the business is and shit like that. So mm-hmm. that's what got me. But um, like a lot of stuff that they did, they did a lot of um. You you and Nick have a history. Yeah, yeah. He you, was like, you, I you guys it. go back before the uh the deal and all of that shit before they yeah. even got to where they was. As it wasn't for me, they probably wouldn't that. even never made it through the hood. Okay, you so would you, you would... gotta you gotta go through the hood to get the hood. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that's what took place. But that situation right there, we always um, had a commitment, whoever make it first, because we were like, we had a dumbass buzz, you know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. they they came along, and I just started helping them out. I treated Fetty Wap like if he was um, my artist, you know what I mean? Right. Mm-hmm. So like right now, right. say you're the DJ, I'll come up to you with my song and Freddie Wap's song. Right. So you're going to know, you know what I'm saying? I got, and I know, I know him and Hard Luck go back, because, you know, Hard Luck got footage. Yeah, yeah. So um, I don't know why he didn't put the rest of it out already, you know what I mean? I know he got more than that, you know right. what I mean? Um, but he he put out the clip of you know Fetty Wap basically shout, shouting out Boss Mob. Right. And um, even till his day, is it still surprising to you that he said your name, Hardy? Hell no, it ain't surprising to me because the nigga we got history. I used to let that nigga take showers in my house, man. Yeah. That shit gotta come out sooner or later. It ain't right. Surprising, right. but it's another nigga that's around. Like, please don't say his name. We don't want to right, get right. him. No, like. Because it caught a lot of people off guard. Right you know what I mean? It definitely man. caught a lot of people off guard. You right. know what I'm saying? And, um, Franco, you actually got a song with uh, Fetty Wap. Yeah. Right? Man, we had a whole mixtape. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Songs in- and and what, what exactly happened with that? So, it basically, is it just a they got on and just left niggas uh, for dead? Yo, they niggas oh, got on and me, didn't want to see nobody else from the town win. What, what let me tell you. niggas wanted to be the town. Period. Like, they wanted to be what they never been. See, like, niggas like us, like, I was Patterson before rap. Yeah, yeah. Feel me? Like, I was hard luck from Park Gas, so crack got money. Like, we, we, we that's know that. Big Roy, Big Boss of the North. Yeah. He been doing it like that. That's that guy. Like, how the right. fuck could you not know? Like, these niggas never been nobody. Rap made them who they was. So, right. they, when they got that platform, 
They ain't want nobody else to have that. Like we, yo, we couldn't win the truck, and we couldn't win the streets. We couldn't do that. We couldn't right. do. We got a name off this. We don't need none of them niggas uh, in this we lane. Gonna, we gonna keep it all the way fair up here though, because Fetty did do the video, right? Nah, he did. Oh no, nah, I, I, I explained that. He had to. He got a fourth. Second. We we did that video twice. He had to. Let me let me start let me start from the top on that right there. All right, like I told you, um. If I come up to you mm -hmm. and you're a DJ, I'm going to bring you the song with Franco and, and, and uh, Fetty Wap. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to give you Trap Queen. Like, yo, these are the two popular songs. You know what I'm saying? Right. But they'll come up to you and just give you Trap Queen, which is no problem. But at mm -hmm. the end of the day, the song Zoo Wap, that's the name of the song. Mm -hmm. It was moving. It was climbing just as much as Trap Queen. Right. And, you know, promoters was um, getting at me crazy. Like, promoters from Texas, PA, VA. Mm -hmm. Nigga, like, how much Fetty Wap? I'm like, he um, there's that 25000 at the time. Right. So I'm like, all right, cool. I let the promoter know he had 25. He's like, what y'all want? I said, well, man, you give me whatever. You know what I mean? He's like, all right, well, I got 35,000. So I was like, all right. He's like, 25 for Fetty, 10 for the muscle. I'm like, right. cool. And vice versa. Like, from PA, Texas, New York, anywhere. They mm -hmm. just hit me because they think if I promoted Fetty Wap, like, like, like I said, like he was my artist. Right. So that's why they hit me. I hit Nitty Grit. Let them know, yo, I got all these promoters, boom, boom, boom. They got this and this and this and that. Mm -hmm. He keep telling me. Yo, let me check the schedule. Let me do that. Keep give me the fucking runaround. Mm -hmm. I I never told Nitty Grit never no never. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, he kept doing that bullshit like that. So I just said fuck it. I will take it like a week or two off. Right. The promoter sent me back. Yo, what's muscle? What's going on? I'm gonna send you twenty thousand right now mm -hmm. to lock it in. So I'm like, dang. Right. Let me just call this nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? Because we didn't care about the money. My mm -hmm. thing was just to. Get us, get us out there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Of course, more. So, of course, of course. They, 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 they ain't want to do that because basically what, what took place, the important people that they're around was mm -hmm. asking, who the fuck is this muscle team? Mm -hmm. He probably was telling them, nigga, oh, they ain't nobody, some gang members, ah, ah. Right. So they, 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 they dogged us. So the reason why they ain't want to take the bookings, mm -hmm. now that it took the bookings, the, the important, per, important people probably like, I thought y'all don't mess with them. So they had to go all the way with it. You know what I'm saying? Right. And shit like that. Even to this day. They own they A A N R um Orlando Warrenburg y'all probably know him yeah yeah Warrenburg yeah, yeah that's my guy that, yeah. man him had a great relationship bro like cause I had some new music I put it to, I put it out there to the community mm -hmm. if they like it then I will send it to him yo what you think about this right, yeah. he be like yo I like that like that you know what I mean mm -hmm. he called me to the office like a few times like mm -hmm. trying to direct yeah, yeah. me direct me right so this one particular day like I already gave these guys two passes already mm -hmm. so now we're in the club like a thousand deep they in there. They they see the temperature was going on, so me and my um me and my crew we walked over towards them. They uh, scared as shit. Nate the Grand Fatty whopping them, scared okay. as fuck. So um, I mean, was it was it an issue at that time or just? Nah, it was still semi. It was it was it was it was a. It was still it was still enough to get. You on the mic, yeah. I can't hear you being on the mic. The funny thing with them is they got their own issues. So when you see them act funny, they already had yeah. their issues before he. You feel yeah, me? They already. You would know about their issue. You know what I'm saying? Well, in, but in terms of they with in me, circle. I'm they still not, humble at this time. Yeah. Right. So. Danny Sue was a good guy, you know what I mean? Right. He the old he the old head of the crew. I'm he, calling uh, the OG. Yeah, then he uh do the do the marketing. And all yeah, that's that. the one yeah. that just got hit with the fuzzy uppercut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna get yeah. to that. We're gonna get to that. But, we're um, gonna get to that. <laughs> yeah, that's him. <laughs> but um at the end of the day, he seen me like, man, I'm cool. Like, yeah. like so Yeah, so I'm just trying to get to okay, for me, I'm just trying to get to when was the first time you just peep shit was kind of moving funny? It been moving funny ever since they got on. Like, but like, when was like, when was that first time you kind of seen all right? Zoo, all right, yeah, well, shit, shit, shit moving. For all right, me, all right. Zoo, well, we we had shot the um first do out, right? We mm -hmm. had used a um because I, I ain't really care for the video because Nitty Grit kept begging me. They needed everything that I had for people could see. So I like, you know what, man? Let's just shoot the fucking video. Mm -hmm. But then the song just grew on people. Everybody loving it. Mm -hmm. So now. Now they got in a good position now, so I'm like, "Yo, Nick, let's shoot this video over. I got a better cameraman, blah blah mm -hmm. blah. I'm gonna spend some um, dollars on this, whatever, whatever." Right. So he kept giving me the runaround. I told one day, "Cause Nick the Grit good with this. He be doing this to the artists he got on his team right now. Mm -hmm. I got you, I got you. No, you ain't gonna keep getting me, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Every time that man asked me for something, I gave it to him. Right. Exactly. I never Nick the, Nick the Grit never got a no from me ever. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I called him this particular time. I like yo, bro. I need that video done ASAP. Right. He like I got say, ain't no fucking got me nothing, man. We gonna get this shit done. That's that. Okay. And this and that. So soon, soon I did that. Two days later, 
We we got the video done ASAP. This is the first time Fetty Wap put them dumb dreads in his head. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? He showed up like that. Nobody know yeah. who the fuck he was and wow. nothing. That's true. But um, came to that's that's how I got the second video out. You know what I'm saying? Right. I had to put that pressure on the water. Let them know I went playing because at that time, mm -hmm. yeah, they they looking good, but they they ain't got no money to talk shit and hide mm -hmm. out like they could do right now. You know what I'm saying? So that for you, that was like the first time you sent shit was moving different. Yeah, yeah. But we got it done and. And soon I shot the video, right. I started spending money on the um, record and, and getting played on the radio, Hot 97, Power um, Power 105. They planned it. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, yo, I'm telling it to Grit. I'm like, yo, bro, I'm spending a lot of money on this record. Y'all need to help out and, and, and with the push promo. it a little yeah, bit. With the promo. Yeah, yeah. They just wouldn't do it because, like I told you, the people been asking, like, who the fuck is these guys? Mm -hmm. They ain't want to let them know, man. I got you. All let right, me, so let me let me get back to that Walter Birds um real quick before yeah, yeah, you go. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Let's get it. They're like 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 I said, they just blackballing like crazy. So yeah. Walter, like I told you, man, man, this guy had a nice relationship. Called me to the office a few times. Mm -hmm. I could call him anytime I want. I could send music. So this particular night, I ain't gonna lie. I think about giving these guys. The, I mean, timbling these guys up. But um, <laughs> right, right, right. I, I let the guy live because Danny Sue. He hurry up and ran to the front of the crowd like, what up, Wardy? Right, he tried right. to check my temperatures. He thought I was going to come over there and, and, and do it the business. Right. So he see that I was kind of cool. You know what I mean? So he like, yo, a Lando here. That's called his name. Yeah, Walter, bro. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I call him a Lando. Yeah. He said, Lando here. He let me know that if I could, if I could, if I could give him a pass. So, mm -hmm. so Lando came in, kick it. So he like, yo, Wardy, come to the office, man, because we got a big, big song called Tell Me. Mm -hmm. was, you know what I mean? Timberland was going to um, sign us off the thing, E1, yeah. and uh, stuff like that. But, you know, things going too yeah, slow. Yeah, yeah. I, I, you know what I mean? I got patient, but I'm not, I'm the type of person, as I call you more than three times, that's too much. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I'm with you I don't give a fuck yeah, who yeah, you I'm are you or now. what. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, Lando like, yo, come to the office tomorrow, man. Yo, you working too hard, man. Don't be doing nothing dumb, this and this and that. Mm -hmm. The guy was so passionate. I hit the nigga the next morning. Mm -hmm. I text him. He ain't answer. Text him again. Now I call. Mm -hmm. That's it. That that so good. Them niggas got in his head? That good relationship I just told you. Yeah. From that next day that yeah. I just telling you about yeah. from the club, lights out. Yes. What took place was mm -hmm. he done called Nick the Grit and I'm like, yo man, I'm thinking about giving the muscle a chance. Blah blah blah. They were like, nah, you can't do that. Wow. And that's what took place. I ain't talked to that man ever since. He don't like nothing on Instagram. I don't like his shit. We don't like that. Wow. And that's that. You know what I'm saying? That's that's crazy. So whatever happened with the with the with the mixtape y'all had? Then? So what happened to all of them songs? Oh, what happened? We still oh, got them. Pull the mic towards you. Pull the mic towards you. Niggas <laughs> black boy. All right, what happened was you feel me? The computer. What, what was the, nah, the um the hard drive ended up messing up. Or whatever. Oh, okay, yeah. so oh, the no, music no, got but lost. All that stuff is still. I still there, got it though. Like, oh, you still got it. Yeah, yeah. Like even the Zoo Up song. The Zoo Up song was at least like five different verses from Fetty, but I just took the. First verse in the hook. I took the best part and I tried. So when it did so? Okay, so if, obviously if y'all recording all this music, then y'all had some sort of rapport with each other. Buzz, Nigga, Buzz was out no, here no, promoting. I'm gonna I'm 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 keep it funky. Yeah, Hold on, nah, nah, nah. Hold on, <laughs> <laughs> you right? Yeah, I don't know. Right. You know what's crazy? No, no, no. You know what's crazy? I'm trying to stay off of Hardy because I know Hardy's gonna turn up. So I'm trying to stay off. Listen, yo. It should be like, yo, <laughs> feel me? Like six o'clock in the morning, yeah. Nick hit me up, like, yo, where you at? I'm like, nigga, you know I'm at. I'm in a studio. He's like, yo, I'm about to come through. I'm like, all right, back, feel me? Let's do a song. We'll do a song and shit, because you used to always hit me up and spit my raps to me anyway. Right. So, feel me? He was like, yo, I got this kid about to bring through, man. His name Fetty Wap. Like, mm -hmm. know what I mean? He, like, I'm telling you, he that nigga. I'm like, all right, bring him through, like, whatever. Right. Feel me? He brought him through. I put him on his track called. Thug Love, whatever. It was me, him, and a nigga named Wizzy and Nick. Okay. Then after that, I showed him the Zoo Wop beat, whatever. Mm -hmm. Well, what's called Zoo Wop beat, but you know. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. Um, he went in there, he had this on freestyles, whatever. He ain't like it. I said, yo, you said a couple things that was hot for me that I'm, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to turn it to a hook. Mm -hmm. So I took all, like, like the best parts of, like, three of his verses, and I turned it to a hook. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Cause yeah, I already had a, already had the verses late. Already had my verses. So late I mean, in, anyway. in terms of the communication, y'all would y'all communicate directly, or was it always through Nick? First, it was through Nick. Then after that, me and him. Me, y'all started. Cool. All right, it so to, it got to a point where I get, I had a bag, he had a bag. We switched each other bag, and we went downtown together and sold each other CDs. Like that's. Oh, how okay. So so for you then, when, when did shit started going left for you then? Cause you know you just did a whole bunch of music with this kid. Y'all was holding each other down in terms of the CDs. When did shit start to go left for you? Around when they got when they got on? Uh, I'll say after um 
when we had a show, we had a show, and I was going to do the zoo op, and they supposed to been there. I guess they are supposed to been there, right? What was that? Uh, Declassical. Declassical. I think. Yeah, oh, I think Freddie did show up though. Yeah, he ended up showing up, but I think that's when it really went left, right? Yeah. Okay. He showed up. Okay, Hardy. Hardy. Yo. Them niggas was scared, you heard? <laughs> Period. <laughs> Nick already knew. Nick the Grit already knew the love and respect I had for Wardy. Mm -hmm. On some G shit. Me and this yeah. nigga did time together. Right. We was in the yard together. We was ready to ride together. Like, right. you heard? Real yeah. nigga shit. I'm talking about big yard jail shit. Like, that's my yeah, nigga. I like, nigga right he here. knew the respect and love I had for this nigga. Right, right, right. That's why I try to keep taking mad pictures, but I'm, 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 my I'm nigga, look at me. Hard luck, my man. I'm yeah, ready you know to get I mean? at him. Right, right, right. He want to take a picture with Fuzz like, I'm good. <laughs> you feel me? Like, ah, you good. You got right, that. That's my nigga like that. Right. You you, you got that. It worked. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, hard. Yeah. <laughs> so, it worked. He, so, he's mean, a like, smart snake. It's, it's, it's been, let's say it's been it's been about a year and some change already since, since y'all been, been having y'all little issues. You, have you ran into any of these dudes since? Yo, I promise you I ain't running into nothing. Y'all you, you haven't seen these? It's Patterson. I ain't that big. Lie to hold up, lie. That's why I be, I be saying that to myself. I ran into some few. It really ain't that hold big. Up. But it's a lot of back blocks. It's a lot of back blocks. Outside <laughs> niggas that fuck with them. Right. And they cop the fifth. Like they want to buy me breakfast, all type of shit. All right, let me ask you a real question. I ain't man. run into none of them niggas. You, they, you, you always had a good relationship with with uh, Oskarman, though. I ran into old Scott. I, I was going to ask you, like, give me Yeezy tickets. <laughs> I need some Yeezys. <laughs> I was going to ask you, what's your relationship Yo, like now? Fuck you know? old Scott, uh, uh, hey, yeah. Fuck <laughs> anybody that's related to that RGF shit. If you right, supporting, right. that's yeah. like, yo. Right. I'm an immigrant and you supporting Donald Trump. Yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah, 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 fuck yeah. you, my nigga. You. Right. Period. Yeah, yeah. Fuck them niggas. Oskama, I'm live too. <laughs> I smacked the shit out. Last time I ran to Oskama, he got me some Yeezy tickets. You know what I'm lying, nigga? Well, I slapped the shit yeah, out yeah. the niggas. I ain't rocking with nobody who rocking with them right now right. because if you supporting that, you spreading the disease in my community. Right. The niggas not trying to see niggas kids eat. Niggas who help them. Niggas who put them in showers. The crazy clothes. Thing. Food on their table. Protection, man. Protection. And, and Woody put out a lot of artists with showcases. And them niggas blackballing us. Mm. Them niggas talking to them crackers. Like, yeah, now we're going to get to that in a minute. We're them niggas talking to them crackers. crackers. And not fuck the niggas we know. Them <laughs> niggas talking to them crackers. Like, yo, them niggas gangsters and thugs. Stop fucking with them. Don't I mean, fuck it ain't like them. they lying. I see them. It's flyers and proof. Like, it's <laughs> flyers and proof of everything. Like, right. all the showcases that be, way before Woody had a whole team. He only had Franco at first. Yeah. I only been with Muscle Team a, a year and a half. Mm -hmm. And I've seen all the stuff. Now yeah. and back then, Woody is still putting 80% of Patterson rappers, mm -hmm. like, Put, put, yeah, in a good position, like, right. yeah, my nigga, my and and these guys are on these flyers, like you got the you and and they copy everything we do and try to make it seem like, like it's their idea. Like if you look at everything Muscle Team did, like you got the the Muscle Gym, they came out with the Zoo Gym, mm -hmm. even That's recently. Yeah, but they Fuzz, no Patterson Fuzz, Fuzz started the line for uh, you know how the um the Jordan uh the yeah, the yeah, yeah, the, the Jordan jersey uh mm -hmm. female, you know. You know things, oh. and now they got a uh, now they got a zoo gang uh, Jordan jersey. Well, yeah, like right? all of this is right? coming from Weir so Muscle right. Team. I mean, yeah, so they, they got a monitor on. They I taking thought. ideas and they making it seem like they own. Like everything they doing is fraudulent. Mm. I got you. So I mean, the niggas frauds. You ran, man. you ran into any Fetty Wap baby mamas, anything like that? Yeah. Oh yeah, everybody loves Psycho. <laughs> For real, everybody I loves love Psycho. Like, cause they know I'm a real, I'm a real I chick. Lock, I love oh, I got you. I got you. Fetty Wap one baby mother. <laughs> <laughs> What's her name? Y'all know she is. Yeah. What's her name? She from Pacific. Shout out. Yeah, yeah stop, stop. stop. Yeah, she cool. Listen, she, she cool. Yeah, she cool. She good peoples. I like her. All right, so, uh, so, so let me ask y'all this. Has this, <laughs> has this situation caused a divide in Patterson? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, nah. like, listen, listen. Yeah. When, uh, when, uh, when this shit I first popped this. off, people picking sides. That's what. I'm yeah, yeah. Talking. Everybody yeah. had their own when, situation when with these guys, and when we went, it was it was over. When this shit first popped off, man, they um somebody had put up their muscle team versus RGF. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. I say ninety percent of the um people said muscle team. You know what I'm saying? They was a Fetty Wap team, but Fetty Wap helped me kill itself. Mm -hmm. Cause he had he had made a video. Nick the grit. See, my aim Fetty Wap wasn't my problem. 
I went straight after Nick the Great when it first started. Right. Yeah. But now my whole team That's going Steady at Nick the Great. Everybody, everybody going at Nick the Great. Hold on, let's get it right. Hold Fetty on. Wap is Nick the Grit is the niggas who pulling the strings and who make right. Fetty Wap speak. Move. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm about to get <laughs> into that. He just the puppet. I told you that yeah. before. Though. And we got yeah, video yeah. of you doing some puppet stuff to him. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. at the end of the day, at the end of the That's day, the um, did the grit. He felt he felt alone. Like damn, why my team ain't helping me? So what he do? He get his camera and put it to Fetty Wap face, and he forced Fetty Wap to say this. You look at the video, Fetty Wap scared as fuck, man. Yeah. He scared as hell to say what he was saying. But what he said. Uh, somebody he tried to have you up and take it down, but somebody done snatched it, sent it to me, mm-hmm. and I reposted it. And he helped me get the little young motherfuckers mm-hmm. that ain't got nothing to do with their life. Now they mad because he like I run Patterson RGF, that's my shit. Right. So I put it out there as like, yo, little little water. You see this guy? He say he run your block. Mm-hmm. So I goes outside the little water. He said, you know, when I see him, we are gonna mm-hmm. see what the business is. So they he helped create problems for himself. Mm-hmm. Cause you know, hold on, can he really not come back to Patterson? That's like you, you know, you guys saying I can't oh, go back to no, Patterson. No, like, yo, no, he can't. Yeah. He, he can't come. No, back. I'm he could back. come I'm back to Patterson. I seen a couple of videos with him saying he in Patterson. He, yeah. he could come I mean, back to Patterson, you, but not without a problem. Problem. Let's not keep it a hundred though. Not without a problem. That's easy. That's easy. That's easy. Yo, yo, no, 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 chill. He's Let him. No, nah, true story. Right nah, nah, he probably he he do that. But at the end of the day, he probably take the he probably in Patterson. He probably in there right now. Yo, but at the end of the yo, day, like this. at the end of the day, he take that picture wherever he at or that video mm-hmm. and haul ass. He he ain't in the he ain't in the this danger zone. This how funky I'ma keep it. How you gonna call this country? This how funky I'ma keep it. One day I hit Woody like, yo, they in Paris. Right. Woody hit me like, nah, they in Cali. So I had to hit the source like, yo, where they at? Right. They in Cali. Oh. Yo, my nigga, they posted <laughs> videos and yeah, yeah. pictures four days later. Uh, no, okay. They real rappers. They know how to secure the bag, nigga. Okay, I got you. Who? What the fuck? They real rappers. I got you. I got you. We oh. real. So let me ask you this, though. Being, being street post- niggas. Is the issue really the whole RGF? Because I know a lot of them guys still do be in the hood. They can't take everybody with them to Cali and wherever they go. Right. So a lot of them just victims stop. of circumstance. Do you look at my, it like that? A lot like, of them victims my, of my, my, my big thing is whoever talks shit, that's why I aim for. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. And if none of my, nobody a threat up there. Yo, what's nobody. That, what's you know that what caption you said earlier? Starving nigga, hungry nigga what? A hungry nigga, man, is unloyal, man. I mean, he unloyal. Yo, man. Them, them you niggas, know what I'm saying? Them niggas... Certain niggas only eating through them and it's teaspoon. Yeah, they try to they try to But they eat through them so it's like you know teaspoon. Let, let's go to the let's Bean. go to the got him video. Y'all, 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 y'all niggas made a movie out of that. All right, y'all said y'all did it with some of his niggas on his block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They was out there, you know what I'm saying? Niggas came up like, oh I'm sure love. They know what the business is, man. You're a street motherfucker, man. Mm-hmm. You know me, man. And dog, I have to beat people up for fun, man. We go around the whole Patterson. And, and Timberland people up for nothing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So at the end of the day, Nick the Grit, he around my age, probably a little older, but I ne- nobody, I ain't never hear him getting jumped or nothing. I jumped everybody in Patterson. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, and <laughs> this guy never had a fight or nothing, man. Right, right. Back, back then, this guy never had nothing. Every no I, yo, we, I, I'm from down the hill. I had to walk feet. everywhere. If you throw a house party back in the day, you want to set us up, throw a party. We're going to come there <laughs> in your block. You know what I'm saying? So right. we did this. Nick the Grit was a good kid. He's still a good kid. Fetty right. Wap is a sweet little boy. Uh, have, you and Nick <laughs> spoke, have you and Nick spoke since all this happened? Nah, I, I try to catch him. I, I was in New York, man. You want to get it to yeah, that? Hold on. Give me a minute. We gonna yeah. get it. No, <laughs> I, I speak to him. I spoke to Danny Sue, though. Danny Sue called. Yeah. And he like, Wardy, how can hey, we squat man, this? you get your own mother beaten, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> you know I be knowing. You so, think your own mother. Danny Sue just called Shout to save his Danny. own ass, yeah? Yeah, I, I got so you. So I'm going that, um, it was like a, like a weekend to the problem, you know what I'm saying? And shit like that. So Danny Sue never called, so he had said some slick shit on Instagram. But he said it subliminally. So I like, um, yo, I went on his Instagram post. I said, yo, what's up with that? I don't talk straight out. I don't understand, but I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he ain't replied back. I gave him 24 hours. So he ain't hit back in 24 hours. So now I say, fuck him on the gram. Mm-hmm. Soon I said that, boom, my phone rings. It's him. Mm. He like, Wardy, what's good, man? I thought we bigger than that. I said, nigga, I asked you a question. You ain't answering. So I like, you said me telling me to go that way. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I like, um, what the business is. I mean, like, Wardy, man, how can we squat this? I said, listen, man, 
Tell Nick DeGrit to fight me for 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. The loser got to give up 20000 to the community. Mm -hmm. He like, come on, nah, man, long fight, Soho fly. Soho is one of my own, um, my little what is cool guy, fly guy, like a fabulous Soho type nigga. fashion type guy. Yeah, he he he, he wanted Nick DeGrit to fight him, but Nick DeGrit said something to me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So Danny Sue said, damn, well, that's like me fighting one of your little guy. I said, nigga, my little guy would love to fight. You want to set it up right now? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that, so. He had a baby shower this day, so I said, listen, um, Denny Sue, I'm supposed to be at your baby shower today, wrap that shit around with a thousand niggas, man, but I'm going to let you enjoy that today, man. That's none of your business. <laughs> right up, the man. guy, the guy, he just kept <laughs> laughing got his baby shower, yeah. for the rest of the, for the, rest <laughs> of the conversation, man. you hear me? Yeah. For the rest of the conversation, the guy just kept laughing. He's like, how the fuck he know that? It was private. Right. It was that his baby baby shower was word to mouth. Mm. But you know, I got people over there. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. So um he like, but Wally, man, I just want to squat this, this and this and this and that. I said, Well, that's what it is right there. We're gonna put up the twenty bands and whoever lose gotta get a community that that's not thirty seconds. Right. I, it thirty seconds might be sure, but once I, yeah. I, I I snatch you up, it lights out. You know what I'm saying? I got you. So um that's how that shit took place, you all know what right, I mean? So um all right, so let, let's get into this now. You, you was in New York. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you just so did you just so happen to run into him? Like, was this just like a chance encounter, or you knew he was gonna be there? Yeah, like, I, like man, when I go out, water, especially out of town or anything like that, we go at least like thirty to forty deep. But this particular night, we watched they, um, you know what I mean, niggas send me they like, yo, they're gonna be at lust. Okay, I want to go there. I'm like, man, fuck them, nigga. I'm, see, one day, one day I'll be a high head. Yeah. Then. The next day, I could be like, man, I don't give a fuck about them. But right. I catch you, that's different. Right. But this particular night is DJ Self um, birthday party. I'm like, you know what? Fuck them niggas. Let them niggas have fun at lunch. We're going to go pop some bottles, show Self some love because he's been playing our music, showing love. Yeah. So we get out, we parked. So now we walk into the club. Nigga, like, yo, they got your sister Nikki. That's Nick the Grit. Mm -hmm. I'm like, where? They're like, right there. I see like 30, 40 niggas, and we like six deep at the time. Mm -hmm. We ain't come over here for that. We ain't come over here to yeah. perform or none of that shit. So mm -hmm. we, we we easy style. So I'm like, where? They're like, right there. I, I like, man, fuck that. I had on majority everything. I still ran. I ran probably like good 15, 20 of them. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to get nitty grit. Yeah. Soon I almost got up on them. <laughs> the little guys from my town, they know me. They're like, yo, Wardy, Wardy, Wardy. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. see me, bro. He know how I roll, so yeah. he he just see me and hear my name. The guy just start taking off, falling all over the place. They he was picking like him a up. swimmer trying to get away from a yeah. shark. Uh, you, <laughs> you know how you fall. You know how you falling, but they keeping him up. He running while he on, still on, basically on the ground. Word. So right. so he don't know. He <laughs> he don't know how I'm coming. <laughs> yeah. So once he ran across the street, once he ran across the street, I see Danny Sue with his hands up. To one of my men, so I jumped. I um, jumped in front of my man. Right. I gotta give it to Danny Sue. Thought y'all was good though. You the bitch ass nigga now nah, valet him all over the gram already. <laughs> but with the truth though, all right, all right. everything I say is nothing but the truth. Yeah. So the guy, you know, he swing with his head down, hit him with the fuzzy uppercut. Boom, boom. Right, he right, don't, right, he don't right, know right, where right. the fuck he at. <laughs> right. He fell right in my arms. I slapped the shit out of him. Did he? I mean, I expected one of my extra guys to take care of him because the thirty niggas they was with do. They they ran. They were just making noise. Yeah. So they kept saying, "It's a one. It's a one. It's yeah. a one." Because usually, yeah. like once, <laughs> usually once I knock somebody out or something like that, my my other guy they take care of that. I like to get the guy that's on their feet. Mm -hmm. Once he out the way, he out the way. But he got he about to get back up. So I had to had to hit him again. Boom boom boom. So um, after that, man, I'm squared up again. What he thought, he probably thought like, damn, they only six seven deep. You heard? Yeah. He, that's why he fought. He thought they was going to help. He see that his team wasn't helping him. Mm. So now we started over. We square up again. Mm -hmm. He scared the fight. He backing up and shit. So that's, that's when the hip-hop cops pulled up and shit. You heard? Mm. Okay, so, I mean, now, now that shit has got, got gotten physical. Right. So is know. it, like, really real <laughs> beef at this point? Why uh, not? Man, it's been real <laughs> beef ever since. Let the grid say something. I could have. I mean, words is one thing. Instagram yeah. posts is nah, one thing. Nah, not with me. I'm a different. become physical violence. Yeah, I'm a different type of warty, man. You know what I'm saying? So. At the end of the day, once you disrespect me, man, like, it, 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 it's all in. You know what I mean? Yeah. I and so I feel, because I could have not, I could have started off at the back. Good job, boy. But I wanted to get Nick the Grit to let him know. I don't give a fuck how many with people you with. You're yeah. going to get knocked the fuck out. But I feel great about that situation. I was seven deep. They were 30 deep. I chased one boss, and I beat the shit out of the, the other boss. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So 
Uh, it's a win-win situation. I heard that the grid fired them guys. Though. That he was lying. <laughs> <laughs> yo, so oh, uh, self seemed so self came out. Yeah. No, he was. I think he was coming in. He like, yo, Fuzz, please, man, please, please, man. Yo, man, this is my party. I'm like, self, man, it's all love. I know what I mean. Yeah. I apologize to self the next day on Instagram. Let him know it wasn't like that. Mm-hmm. You gotta respect the street self. You know what I'm saying? Right. If a motherfucker see somebody they got a problem with, they are gonna take care of business. You know what I'm saying? I got you they going to take care of business. So at the end of the day, I don't know if you feel some type of way or what mm-hmm. and stuff like that. But so is I, it, is it, is it, I don't care. Is it with, with, uh, just in terms just beyond you, with the, with the rest of your squad, because I'm sure you got a number of people that just are in association with you and your team. Is it like an on-site okay, situation? Right. Them? Like, do they all feel like, you know what, when we see these guys, we got to do something to these Oh, guys? yeah. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a must. Uh, tell us it's about. a must. So y'all cracked open them fatty. So we at home chilling, smoking weed, fucking with our wife and all that. And the DJ chain got sucked. Yeah, oh, I should have so, wore that tonight. And uh, and we got access, motherfucker. And Patterson. And Patterson. Shout oh, to DJ S. Dot, you pussy ass. I just seen you at the liquor store. You was copping out like a pussy. <laughs> oh yeah, My mother. I don't got nothing to do with them niggas. I don't even know why you chill. Oh, yeah. Shut I, the fuck I was up. gonna get a nigga a pass too. <laughs> I was gonna get DJ S. Dot a pass that night. Fuck up. Niggas hit me like, yo, Fetty Wap DJ here. I'm like, I'm thinking it's um, DJ Big L. Because that's the DJ I want to um, bang his hands. Yeah, I'm, sl- hey, I'm, I'm, I'm going to bang his hands with a hammer so he can't DJ no more. Damn. But um, I thought, it, I thought it was him. Yeah. They're like, DJ S. I'm still driving toward the club. I'm like, ah. I was like, man, know what? Leave him alone. Yeah. But when I got to the club, I got to the club. I'm on one side of the club. Mm-hmm. And he see me. He on the other side of the club. So when he get by the door, he he was almost out the door to leave. Mm-hmm. My little guy seen them, bloom, 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 tend them, tend them, them up. Took mm-hmm. a chain. They took his um his laptop and some phones and shit and shit like that. So and the shit was fake, man, big fake <laughs> dumbass chain. If you big, go to his Instagram fake. page, he got a big thick ass chain. Look good, but the shit fake. Oh, yeah. I love, I, hey, check, check that chain out. Um, link my bio on Instagram. Oh, yeah. no, on uh, I love. Fetty Wap my... disc or uh, how do you want it by Lil Psycho? Check that video. I was on YouTube yeah. right now. But um, well, on anything was... I love, I worked in a jewelry store downtown and shit. So you know, I got a couple of hours over. Yo, like yo, I'm gonna be some bling. I'm walking right for the weekend. <laughs> Nigga, like yo, won't you do the Fetty Wap? Like, what's the Fetty Wap? Be like, yo, this shit right here only twenty five hundred. This shit look like it's about 17,000. Right. <laughs> you heard me? We could send it to the spot, get the 14 carat engraved, right. but it's dipped in gold. I got right, you. right. Too like, nah, I don't why? want that Fetty Wap shit. Nah, well, I nah. mean, Hardy, why, why for you hasn't this shit, shit been squashed yet? Like, why, why for you haven't, <laughs> why haven't you been able to just... my neck bumpy. <laughs> you heard? I don't like that jewelry that made my neck bumpy. That RGF jewelry made my neck bumpy. I don't want that shit, bro. Yo, yo, Hardy, why for you haven't you been able to just squash this shit already, listen, yo? Niggas ain't squash. Listen, niggas just too much dirt, my nigga. Yeah. I got you. And it's too you. much to pay. Right, so but you got to duck that payment. Like I had to, I had to squash. I talked to Hardy when he was the only one on the ground. Had to, had I went cover. to Hardy. I went they to Hardy. I said, them, "Listen, right? I said Hardy, man, you got a problem with Nick? I want that shit squashed." Hardy said, "It is what it is." Mm-hmm. I told Nick. They both said, "What?" I paid both of them on the same bill. I had a um, muscle jam. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. So I've been trying to squash it. You know what I'm right. saying? Anytime there's a problem in Patterson. I try to squash it ASAP. You know what I'm saying? So, what was uh, in terms of just the city, man? Th- does this does the city like feel like they have to deal with this? Oh well, you know, like that, like like, see, like I said, is is the city divided with with all of this stuff? They ain't got nobody. Everybody has their own situation Listen, with each and every person. Us, my nigga, from RGF, like, well, you know, they probably still got some kids. Hit the grit or Fetty, like. Everybody has their own personal that, situation. And that, that's how so many people got on the got them. Now remix. they they yeah. want everybody like want to get together, you know. Yeah. So yeah. And, 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 basically, they bring a unity. Like you I was saying, saying that's they pretty much united. It's street the unity yeah. between these unsigned rappers right now and at this moment, and they uh, know that's happen. what I want to say they did. That's, I that's give that one a thing that they, they gave. They they united the city. I'm gonna yeah. give a shout out to as the real boys like the rap for this being so fake. That you brought all the real niggas together. For real. All, right. the, all the unsigned rappers, they really brought them together. Uh, you Everybody. gotta give thanks for that. Them niggas so fake, they brought all the real niggas together. Yeah. Like, nah. We can't move like this. Paris like. like... For the record, where, where's that um that palm tree at that they got painted? Oh, it's no more. We got that it's shit over. took it down. It's over for that palm tree. Oh, it's it's not over. Nah, we got it took it down. We, we shot the video. They the found next out day. they was fooling, you know? They took that shit down. Oh, wow. Yeah. 
That was in Patterson, though. Yeah. Wow. And that same night, we shot the, um, the Gotti video on Fetty Wap Block. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Here's what he was out there. They know what the business is. You know what I'm saying? Right, I got you. Oh, I mean, well, you know, this, what, this is going to be the realest question that a lot of people want to know. To all the people that just feel right. like, you know what, y'all hating, y'all mad, blah, 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 blah. What do you got to say? Let me say that. I got that. I got that. Yo, hold on, Hardy. Go ahead. What you say again? I said to all the people out there that's going to say, you know what, they just hating, they mad, blah, blah, blah. What do you have to say to that? It's been two years. As I was hating, I would have been said something. You know what I'm saying? The only reason why I'm doing it now because Nit the Grit said my thing was with straight Nit the Grit nobody else mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying and as we the haters how we got money we got power we got respect we doing what the business is so how we hating they the real haters they the one blackballing us they telling people not to fuck with us they they did this plenty of time they telling DJs not to fuck with us you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying so who's the haters and, and, what and, what we hating on? And, and let me exactly. ask you this. That's that's a good answer. And let me ask you this. In in Jersey, do you feel like a lot of people aren't supporting what y'all doing just because they don't want to get on their bad side? That's some bad. some you guys you in got some industry. Fuck that's Jersey. Yeah, that, in the, the industry. That's it. You got the industry, not the street, the street. The, the you got no because Jersey got a lot of powerful people. Yeah. Jersey got wildlife, but they Ski, they play the industry. Guys, like, they, 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 a lot of people are playing it. Say safe. that again, industry. industry. Safe. But look, okay. they 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 want to keep it neutral. That's that's cool. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, the you got grannies coming out. Keep yo they yo you got people like the community. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of people help these people, bro. Yeah. Like a lot. Like you'd be surprised. People, and they just, kids. And they just turned their back on everybody. Yeah. They look what Freddie they Wap did. Freddie Wap did. Like, dog, like people, hardworking mothers spending their money buying shirts off them, buying their CDs for their kids. Soon Freddie Wap got on. What he do? He run to Miami for Christmas and give Christmas down there. And now the kids in Patterson looking like, damn, mommy, like, what's good? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. And then That's I heard bad. a guy, a guy That's in a bad, sneaker bro. store. Um, the sneaker store. I'm not gonna mention the owner or the or the worker. Um, Fetty Wap wanted a discount. He didn't want to pay original price. Mm. He didn't want to pay original price. And the guy, he loved him so much, he wanted a picture on? with him. At, while Yo, he's on right now, this is a couple I told of months you, ago. I told and then he you told him, him, "I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, um, gonna get." get Get take no picture with you unless you give me this. Wow. You know what's crazy? I think Hardy shit is like and Hardy just was. Hardy is like yo Straight niggas like thought that. I was bugging before, niggas but I see what's going on. But look, right I now, told you, know you like yo, the town sneaker really, store in like, Patterson. These by ain't the way, no niggas that just did what they did. Like mm -hmm. the whole town really got a piece yeah. of this shit. Right, like, a yo, lot of people, man. Yo, yo, it's a fit. It's a hundred and fifty grandmothers who could say, yeah, I fed that boy one homeless night. Mm -hmm. One night he said he had nowhere to go. My daughter bought him do. Say he was a rapper. And I, you feel me? Right. right. True story. Yeah. It's just right. sad, my nigga. He, like he that. was he was homeless. Like so, he winning right now with him being made it and all. Like he really nah, was homeless. We, we all he had happy nowhere for to him. go. We now, happy for what, that what nigga. About, yo, I'm gonna tell y'all like this. It ain't I'm niggas all day. I still hey yo, shut up. Hey music. yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. He still got good music. Shout out to Fetty Wap. His he just not sweet. He a weak person. Shout out to Fetty Wap, if you was a little stronger, you would be able to tell Nick the Grant and then he's like, yo, y'all niggas out of here. Word. fool. Fuck right. y'all niggas. Let me go show love to niggas who really got right, me in this so position. So with that being said, is the issue really with Fetty Wap then? Nah, really well, really now, the it, he already I, told you that. I'm, I'm going to tell you this. I ain't put this story out here. I called Fetty Wap main security Monday or Tuesday. Mm -hmm. I was coming out of script club. It was Monday. I'm coming out of script club. He coming in. So I'm, I'm pushing the oh, door. Yeah. He pulling the door. The guy see me, he thought he saw the ghost. He like, what up, Wardy? I said, ain't no fucking what's up, nigga. What's up? Is a fucking problem? Mm. He like, nah, let's go inside, have a drink. I said, no, let's go the fuck outside. I'm coming out. So he, he like I told you, he probably think I'm a thousand deep. It's right. just me by myself. I had a, a few of my um, Puerto Rican Wardies inside. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I told him I was out. I guess outside, man, him kicks it, whatever. He let me know straight from the door. Yo, Wally, man, listen, I'm just Freddie Wild security, this and that. I said, well, it's Freddie Wild with you tonight. I was fucking him up and fucking you up, too. So <laughs> right, right. he like, nah, he said, it's understandable. I said, and when I say, and I say, I told him, when I say fuck RGF, fuck Remy Boy, that including you, too. He wow. like, it's understandable, it's understandable. I had to say these words because there was other people around. If I would have just left with this telling him, ah, you ain't got nothing to do with it, then... Uh, at the end of the day, he'd be like, "Yeah, I seen Wardy. He ain't do shit, right, boom, 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 right. and this and that." Cause a real nigga respect. Like, if you give me a pass, mm -hmm. I'm gonna remember that forever. You gonna be great. 
Man, you gonna become friends from that past. Right. You give a fake nigga a pass. Oh man, I seen such and such. He ain't do shit. Blah blah blah. Right. So I had to disrespect. <laughs> I had to disrespect this guy just a little bit. You know how yeah. that go. Just yeah. to let him know for the for them other security. Like damn, he just got disrespected. You know what I'm saying? Right, so right. at the end of the day, man, kicked it. He let me know his part. He like, yo, man, Nick the Grit don't like me like that. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't for Fetty Wap and Denny's too. I won't have no part. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know job. I'm right. 45 years old. This and this and this and that. <laughs> so. That right. was that. So uh, I got a phone call. So I like I'm leaving. So I like yo, I holler at you, man. I'm shook sure hands. You know what I'm saying. Okay. So when I was walking away, he said, "Yo, that fuzzy uppercut." I said, "Yeah, <laughs> ask Danny Sue about it." Man, I'm laughed about it. I got in the car and I just pulled right. off. But I did. I mean, true <laughs> story. True story. At, 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 at the end of the day, just just for you know, just for ball small muscle team, just 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 going for because you know, I mean, uh, truthfully, I've been sitting back watching for a while now. Y'all niggas been going at these niggas heads for a minute. Mm -hmm. You know, say, especially you, like you don't let up. Like you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like I think it's every day for you. Like yeah, yeah. I'll be trying to, I'll be trying to chill. Like it be like, days you don't let up. You know, it be I mean? days I'll be like, man, fuck these niggas, man. But soon I see. The city worked for me, man. Right. They constantly keep sending me stuff. The, the, the you. I'll be like, Woody, where you get this from? He's like the lovely people to, in the community of yeah. Patterson. But, but I, I don't want to be funny. Right. But if if I get something, to, like, if you, if you uh, everything I post, it's true, but I'll piss on my sarcasm in it because I'm right. a funny guy like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. So at the end of the day, they send me so much stuff that I can't use. Like somebody gonna say, "Oh, on um, Fetty Wap, remember? Um, I mean, fuck, remember Fetty Wap got hit on um, by the car on a bike? He ain't got no insurance to use his mother's shots. I can't use that. Fuck that shit. You know what I'm saying? But right, right, this right, the right. type of stuff people send me and and call me about. But yeah. I don't put too much stuff out there. You know what I'm saying? I got you. I mean, so like I said, just, just go I, I I got some stuff right here I can't put out because I'm cool with the person father and shit like that. This shit is crazy. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm sure I'm sure y'all got more more things that are that are to come. I mean, you know, we we started. We got we got the Gotham remix. That's out there. You know what I mean? Um, visual and um MP3 is out. That's moving, you know what I'm saying? So just just going forward for y'all, what do y'all got to come in terms of just the music? Um, like uh, name, the name music. the artist that's on the team. All right, right now I got um Muscle Team Lil Psycho, the princess right here. Mm -hmm. I got Muscle Team Tyrone Franco right here. Mm -hmm. I got um my man Soho Fly. Mm -hmm. That's my own, the fabulous type rapper. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um. Soho. Got Young Prodigy. And, free Big Al. and um, yeah, my man Big Out. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I got you. And, also and, um, got JV. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't forget the youngest in charge, JV. You JV. know what I mean? All right. And, and Ball Small. Who we got coming from Ball Small besides, besides Hard Luck, of course? We got All Star Don't Lack and the Young Top, man. Okay. I got Everybody you, man. And just, just right in terms of everybody else that's in Patterson right now, I'm sure there's a couple of other well, artists y'all want to shout out from Patterson. Shout out to Ball right Small. Now. Shout out to uh, Wonder Boys. Kilo uh, Gang, big Kilo shout out to Gang. Kilo Zoom. Big no, shout out to Kilo Gang, my nigga. Yo, yo, I love Kilo Gang. Shout, big like shout out to motherfucking oh. Wonder Boys, my nigga Pete Dice. He got that hundred band single out right now. Yo, and um, speak, speak. Just another question too. When the whole shit happened with Pete Dice early on, what did y'all think about? Shout to Pete Dice, man. Pete Dice got kicked out the game. Honestly, um, I felt I, ain't like I, I knew Dice from the rip. I, he he used to call me by my street name, which is Buki. He used to always say Buki the rapper, and I knew he was like nice at everything he do. So when it came out with the whole songwriting stuff, I wasn't surprised. Right. I wasn't surprised at all. But what did you think about when he got kicked out the group? Like, what did you think about that? I thought it was fucked up. I thought it was. I I knew it was a lie. Mm -hmm. right, I me, knew me, it was a lie. Let me get on that situation. I think it, I think um man Nick the Great that's his real cousin. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I heard. I had to, to I had to talk to um um I had to talk to Pete Dice personally. I said, bro, I'm gonna I'm doing what the business was your cousin. I don't want to hear later on at this room. Oh, man, I'm gonna keep that right there. Right, right. Something right. happened to him. Serious, man. Don't like Wardy, man. My cousin. Mm -hmm. I said, you feel that way? Feel that way? This guy kicked this guy out the group. I don't give a fuck what they problem was mm -hmm. with Fetty Wap or them. This nigga stood up to a nigga in my caliber, bro. Right. The nigga, my man C. Blaze, real Wardy from North. Mm. This guy is a danger. He probably more dangerous than me. You know what I'm saying? Because right. at the end of the day, he a blue guy. Right, he right, was right. surrounded by red. Right. He made it out of that situation. And now he got the red and the blue on his team. He got control of a lot of these guys. Right. And P. Dice stood up to him and disrespect him for, for Fetty Wap. I don't give a fuck what that guy did. Mm -hmm. when, you, when he did that, 
All that problem in the group should disappear. When but what they do, nigga, nigga C. Blaze made that phone call, said, listen, it is fucking Pete yeah, Dice is all, y'all. Them niggas said, well, you can have him. Mm. And that's yeah. when they kicked him out, man. Niggas is pussy, man. Wow. I told you, my nigga. These niggas niggas straight pussy, man. Nigga. Like, this man <laughs> got kids, bro. Dice. My nigga Pete yeah. Dice a real nigga. And Pete Dice got fucking flag. kids, bro. And it's they did that shit like to him. Boy. You know what I mean? Mm. Nigga, we got all kids. I can see... Like, oh, like, all right, y'all want to fuck with us, cool. But somebody else do want to fuck with us and give us a deal, yeah. let them do that. Mm. So at the end of the day, when they say we hate it, no, they the haters. Mm. These niggas stopping niggas' kids from growing. Well, you can't stop a real nigga from growing. Exactly. Cause like I said, when you're a real nigga, you can always get it back. I went to the fans. I did I did business in, in New York, always everything. I come back, I get it back. Always. It's Fetty Wap lose what he got right now. They can't get it back. Ain't no yeah. They ain't got no other way. I got you. You know what I'm saying? I got hey, so, I'm sorry, I just want to ask something. But, but I've heard you say Wardy so many times. There's some education here. What is a Wardy? Oh, uh, Wardy. Yeah. <laughs> Wardy is like, it's a, it's a slang. Basically, basically like, like my nigga or nigga or something like that. Basically, I got that from um, like from Cash Money. Like when I was young, I got to watch like Baller Block. You, you know that movie? Mm -hmm. And they said, Wardy's so fucking must. I went outside and started calling people that, Wardy. That, so you know what's crazy? That's, 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 how, that's, that's how I know you a jail nigga. That's a jail movie it's right there. Yeah. Nigga, he like my that's Wardy. a jail movie right there. Yeah. They say that shit all the time. So, so yeah. at the end of the day, when I came outside, I started calling people Wardy. Yeah. It's like everything I do is like, it's this trend. You know what I'm saying? Like, Wardy, what's it up? Just, so if you ever hear Wardy in my, my town, Wardy been Wardy oh, you probably can hear it somewhere else. You're going to think about me. You know what I'm saying? People ask me that all the time. Right, they also ask me how you get the name Fuzz, Woody. Oh, yeah. Fuzzy, <laughs> Fuzzy Bear. Huh? I said, first up, it was somebody's name. Yeah, that's true, man. Like, you refer to so many people as Woody. I'm like, okay, so this obviously is not one person. Like, what the hell is everybody. <laughs> well, how did you get the name Fuzz? Oh, um, Fuzz, uh, now, man, when I, was a, when I was a kid, man, they just called me Fuzz, but I, like I was a little fat kid. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so as I got older, I just started working out real heavy. I ain't, wanna, I ain't never going back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> They had to call me fuzz, fuzz ball, fuzzy ball, you know what I'm saying? I got you. So I was in like a little fat kid and shit like that. That's so. big, man. Yo, so that's the reason for your workout? Yo, y'all still uh, big. Oh, no, no, no. I just worked out because I ain't going yo, back. Yeah, yo, know. get up off my manager, yo. Get up off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's yo, how I Low cycle, man. What could we expect from you with the music and all of that? Um, I got my mixtape dropping soon. Um, the mix down and everything is going on right now. So you know, first project. Yeah, this is my first mixtape. First solo project. Yes. You excited about yes, it? Yes, I'm very excited about it. I think I only have about two or three features on it, so. You're going to get a lot of psycho up here. You got love songs. You got, you know, gangster rap. Hello. What's up, ladies? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you got a title for it? Yo, so, uh, Hurricane Franco. Psycho. Hurricane, Hurricane psycho. psycho. Make sure you look out oh, for Frank, that. Franco, what we got coming from you? Oh, next month, you got cutthroat season. We got, we're going to have tummy up there. We're going to have the working up there. We're going to have the one hunter. Mm -hmm. We're going to have uh, Coke Man. Oh. I don't know if you've seen the video yet, but Coke Man. Okay. I didn't yeah, see it yet, but yeah. I'll yeah. check it out. I'll definitely check it out. Fire, yeah. I got you. Yeah, I got, oh, we got, I got another. Too, right? I got another I track with. Uh, sing too, right? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, JV, right? Yeah, the younger to charge. Coming out, I'm telling you. Yeah, like, I got a lot. Of, like this cutthroat season is crazy. I got like beats from um, chemist. Mm -hmm. You know what chemist is? Yeah. Uh yeah, chemist and um, DJ Payne. Okay, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. DJ Payne right, is fire. So you DJ already Payne know fire. what what's going on. DJ Payne that's is all, fire. That, that's all I'm gonna say. Yo, Hardy, man, what, what we got coming, Hardy? Hey man, I got the new single called Pull Up On Me featuring Pete Dice, man. That's right, shit, fire. That, that shit fire. We pushing that right now. I don't even want to talk about nothing else. You heard? We just going to move that. We going to shoot the video. We going to pull up in a bunch of farms. We got the Bentley Coupe. Mm -hmm. We got the Maserati. We got the X, the I8. Video out? We got the, what else we got? We got a lot of cars right now. We looking <laughs> like money right now. Shout out to this whole Wonder Boy camp, man. Yo, look. Right. Y'all niggas fucking up. Look, we looking like money right now. We about to turn this shit up, yeah, How man. long this nigga been live, yo? Like, <laughs> I'm waiting for his phone to die. Uh, right? I'm waiting for Hardy Live to follow me. Muscle Team <laughs> underscore Lil Psycho. Check me out. Link that bio. Get Yo. them views popping. Fuzz, with, 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 all, with everything that's you know been going on for you. Hold on, hold on, Wally. With everything that's been going on, how has it been for you just in terms of just maintaining and just keeping it things? towards the music and not the street <laughs> shit? Um, well, basically, like, like I, I get over stuff quick, man. See, me, when I squat outside, I ain't got to set you up, you know, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, if I, anything ever get out of line, I would, I know where they family at and stuff like that. Stuff. I mean, I could do some other stuff, but, like, the music just keep me going. Like, like I said, 
our time came plenty of times. Mm -hmm. I could have been on. I could have got um, robbed and be like, you know what? Let's just get robbed for this song or not. But I know the music that we got mm -hmm. is going to get us millions. going to take us there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like I told you, man, Timberland. Once he found out we had a song called Working with Franco and um and um Lil Psycho, mm -hmm. somebody posted. Shout out to everybody in the feds that's listening to Lil Psycho. <laughs> so um so um Tim Lassane, he like, yo, who these niggas get them to me? Boom, boom, boom. So my yeah. man hit me, ba ba ba. So I sent him the song and I sent him like five other songs in my number. Mm -hmm. The guy, the guy hit me back, man, he hit me like woke me up. I was asleep. Man, yeah. Timberland talked for like two to three hours straight. This guy offered me the world mm -hmm. and all this shit. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, the guy was too, too busy. So I was like, you know what? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to call this guy no more. Well, we had went to his birthday party. We performed and shit like that. Showing mad love, whatever, whatever. He showed that love back. Mm -hmm. And he kept saying, yo, we're going to get right. We're going to do this and shit like that. But, you know. I'm the type of person, like I said, I can't keep calling you, man. I, yeah. So I like, you know what? I, I like that too. Yeah. I, I, I say, you know what? We're going to put in massive work. Mm -hmm. And let our name get to him that he get well, give I'm us a call. You this, you know one of the realest things somebody business, somebody told me in this game, it was like he's like being being a real nigga in this game. Sometimes you got to be fake with these faggots. Yeah, it is. What, that's what he that's, told me, that's, bro. You know, this, sometimes you got to be fake with these faggots. You, you know, told that's Wardy, I said, yo, yeah. real talk. <laughs> nah, that's what he told me. Man, that's real that. though. And he said that's the only thing they understand is fake. I, I, yo, I look, yo, hundred percent true. In this game, being fake with them niggas is being real to yourself. You ever? Because if you trying to win. If you in a game and you trying to win and you see niggas cheating, how you gonna play by the rules? Right, mm -hmm. yo, there's all yo from the DJs from the label like it's all they they all pussies, man. Mm -hmm. You you you're hundred when you said that you're hundred percent right. Mm -hmm. Like they don't give a fuck about that street shit, man. No, no, they don't. Like they soft don't like niggas, real. they they winning, man. Like like even with Freddie Wap. See, my thing with Freddie Wap too. Like I'm a, like like all the guys that's killing each other, like the young guys. See, they look up to me, so I had to get involved. I go talk to this um crew of people, this crew, and I do a lot of shit in the community. Mm. So Freddie Wild, I don't mind him saying hold that on, shit in his music. You make it sound kind of light. My yeah. nigga stopped the killing in the yeah, community. Yeah. I'm he talking been about giving look, out no, 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 no. Hold on, I'm too. talking about. Monday, this squad killed this squad. Right. Tuesday, this squad yeah. killed. This. Thursday, like back, like it took a nigga like that to step in, like chill, my nigga, we wilding out here. Exactly. Right. So you feel me? At the end of the day, Freddie Wap, like I said, I don't mind him saying that shit in his rap, but when you get in an interview like this, mm -hmm. you got to go back to the to the good boy, what mm -hmm. Patterson know you about. Right. Patterson, we all. That's why the the um Patterson got behind him. He was sweet little good kid, he was humble. Mm -hmm. Everybody right. loved him. That's why. That's, fact, that's right. why people don't like him now because they like this ain't the what guy to the we knew. Kid. Yo, mm -hmm. Fetty Wap. Yo, he was the good. Like my last conversation with Fetty Wap. My last my last conversation with Fetty Wap. I called him. Why well, ain't gonna say I called him? I ran into him. This was probably like eighteen months ago or some shit like that. Right. When I called him. Man, well, when I, when I seen him, man, I'm talking like, yo, Wardy, you don't even remember me. Mm. He started to work for you on, when we was on North Third, North when Third. you was running North Third. I'm like, nah. He said, yeah. So he, he probably wasn't working for me. He was probably right. for, working for one of my workers. Right. So at the end of the day, I said, damn, man, you must have both of your eyes or some shit like that. <laughs> so right, right. I'm yeah, telling yeah. him, I said, listen, Wap, at the time, our song Zoo Wap was um, doing what the business is. Right. So I'm like, listen, Wap, everything I do for you, you don't ask me. It come do your boss, Nitty Grit. Right. I said, I do a lot for you. But I said, bro, I'm not asking y'all for shit. I said, bro, they got the money for you. Whatever you ask for, you want 25, they got it. He's like, yo, take my number, boom, boom. You catch Magic Freddy Wap, you don't think this guy is sweet, but when you walk away, he probably like, man, yeah. get the fuck out of here. Some shit mm. like He do that to a whole lot of people, you mm. know what I'm saying? Right. And shit like that. So but then at the end of the day, you got to remember too, Fetty Wap is, a, is essentially a worker. He may be the star, yeah. he may be the star yeah. but he's right. a, an employee at yeah. the end right. of the day. You but I think if he yeah. snap out of it and, and fire Nitty, and I told Denny too a year ago, I said, yo, y'all main problem is Nitty Grit. The whole Patterson don't like him. Yeah. Mm. Nobody like Nick the Grand. I said, yo, you, I said, yo, you get rid of him. It's going to be a, now a whole year passed. Now the problem got out there. You know what I'm saying? Right. And with the wrong problem. Hey, mm. I, I just want to say one thing, man. I'm the reason why he zoo up. I'm the reason why the zoo game started. Yeah, well, yeah. Tell us, tell us that story goddamn, real quick. The goddamn, um, 
Bitch, I'm a zoo. Who the fuck is you? Right. That came from 17th Ave when I was in the studio with uh, a couple people. We we made a song around the same took, time. They took the song and they and they made it a uh, slogan. Do I? Yeah, yeah. And I got that shit on Facebook history, like Facebook history. <laughs> but you know, Facebook yeah, history. yeah. They, they remind everything. you what happened five happened. years ago. You'll see, yeah. me, you wow. see me in the studio, like bitch, we a zoo. Who the fuck is you? Wow. Like, that's before that. And, I was yeah. wondering why the name of the song was Zoo Wop. Yeah. That was the crazy thing. Oh, yeah. like, I, I didn't been day. Zoo Wop. He been Zoo Wop, but I told him to take that name like serious. Like mm -hmm. take it, like take it to the max. Like he but, been said it, but he ain't take it to the max. I'm like, yo, Zoo Wop, you gotta run with that for real. I'm gonna call this song that. Mm. And nobody I had the flow already. Yeah. He just, I just, you know what I'm saying? Nobody, yeah, nobody like, start calling him Zoo Wop until we blew that song up. Yeah. That song. Like, Made P I him start him calling himself Zuwa. Like, you know what I'm saying? Really like I told you, he pushed eighty percent. If you if you invite ten artists from Patterson, guaranteed mm -hmm. that fuzz. Oh, no, no. Oh, they know. Not fuzz. just know them, got them a a performing position at a club. Oh, at, just got them popping. Got them popping. Yeah. A lot of people can't even perform. Like can't even come on stage without this guy getting them. The you know right because a lot of rappers are underlooked, so yeah. he he got them I you know notice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuzzy the gatekeeper. Yeah, yeah. Right, I got you. Go I ahead, got Jay. something right here, but we can't pick this on air because no, I'm no, cool no, with no, the no, Godfather no, right here. Go ahead, Jay. Jay. Bitch, no, 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 no. Got one Who the minute. fuck is you? All right, I I come from cheesy, man. Woman. I come from cheesy. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I got you. Got you. <laughs> now you can put it to the mic right there. <laughs> this kid crazy. I should want the cheese. And he did, bitch. Yeah. I never try. I never try to say nothing about. I never try to do it like that. Trying to make myself famous. Oh, man. Uh, uh, Check me. Uh, yeah. hey, that's, that's too much for BMG Radio. <laughs> you know what I mean? But y'all right, yo. Um, damn, man. A lot. We, we got we got a lot of intel today, man. Uh, shit. Appreciate y'all giving us an incredible interview, man. And um, you know, like I said, a lot of people just wanted more insight to the city. They see, they see the Instagram post, they see a lot of comments and all that. Right, right. They just wanted more insight to exactly yeah. what was going on. Cause you know, outside looking at, we don't know what's going on in Patterson, so we need y'all to come up here and let yeah, us yeah. know what's what's really going on. So we appreciate that. Cause like I said, they are truthfully, they are the representation.